All right, guys, this is Code Online, and in last video, we made a video of adding category. Uh, and in this video, we are going to going to update, you know, product. So we're gonna uh, edit the product, you know, and update it. Uh, so let's do it. Let's go to our routes. Wait to PHP, and let's add a <clears throat> method. Uh, you know, request method, <clears throat> request, uh, which request, uh, it will be get request to get the edit form and we'll say edit dash product and it also takes a parameter call, you know, uh, to know which, uh, which, which product you want to edit. So we, we pass the ID. So this is the product we, we want to update. Uh, or edit so we we do this like this like we can we can pass anything like product let's say product or you can also pass ID or whatever <clears throat> and we have to do product controller at edit all right and and now we gonna go to edit okay so we'll go to product controller in app http controller uh, here is product controller and make a method all right mm, let's close this and make a method uh, called edit we'll say public function edit and it gonna it's gonna take a request parameter request uh, which request you know to send the request and also product which product we want to update and in here uh, it, oh, oh no this is this is edit so not no we will not you know send the request we just gonna show the form with uh data of you know our product which product mm. So let's say if you want to edit this watch, then we have to send price and name in our form, which we have, uh, which we have already, you know, in database, which we have in database. So, uh, at first let's let's go let's send to a page return view. We're gonna make a view file uh, inside products uh, products. Oh my god. <clears throat> products dot <coughs> sorry for that. Uh products dot I will say edit page. Okay. So let's let's um, return. So let's go to products folder in view. Uh you have to go in resources and inside views there is product and we'll say new file called edit dot blade dot php okay so enter and in here we'll have a form let's let's have a form we'll copy the same form of edit and we'll paste it here and we'll say you can you can edit product here and this is post meter url will be edit edit product and we'll have <clears throat> slash id as dollar and we have to do concat you know <clears throat> dollar product id and we haven't seen product id yet so we'll send id from controller we'll we'll say like this dollar product is equals to we'll we'll <clears throat> find that <clears throat> we'll find that uh, which product is edited from you know product table so we'll say product find uh, dollar product so this product which is this so it will find <clears throat> and find maybe we need to we need get I don't know let's let's say get yeah 
and we'll send that product a uh, dollar let's do compact and we'll say pro so we'll send pro as product so it is dollar product here and we'll we'll show the old value too but let's let's go to edit our edit page okay edit that product what's what's the link name edit product edit dash product slash id um let's have our id one um maybe in the database there might not be um id does not exist on this collection instant uh do we have product uh here let's see we have id of one two three and four um edit product slash id a controller at edit and so uh let's let's see what we we have done we have added a route for uh to get a uh, edit form and edit uh so when we do this edit product and some id we'll click it from here um from you know uh here and uh, here we'll add a button and we'll say an id and we'll go to edit product control edit and we have passed this parameter product which product uh so which product we have open so it'll find from product model you know from database and it will send to products of edit page and in edit page we're doing just doing this okay so what's wrong here i don't know uh it, it it's 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 so yeah uh let's um what's wrong i don't feel anything let's have a uh, here uh let's have button here okay at first uh in welcome blade mm, here it is uh in every after every you know um uh, we have will have action uh, like edit and delete uh let's have let's have a button here b u t t o n button and we'll set class class to primary oh and we'll say edit surprise yeah so we want to have mm, link here all right so so we'll say here at ref is equals to url for link to go in you know, edit product is edit dash product and and for its loop gives us you know uh product id so we'll say contact concat and we'll say dollar product id so let's refresh here and here you can see down below see again you can see id changing okay so we'll we'll edit one id of one uh doesn't exist on this collection instant view um so let's let's see what's wrong in product controller uh products that edit return view products that edit mm, products dot edit here it is mm -mm -mm. so what what might be wrong we'll we'll find the bug here okay Mm, mm, mm let's 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 i don't know dollar product it's gonna take one parameter and 
if we say id it, it doesn't matter you know uh <clears throat> for controller add edit we'll go here find that think this is wrong mm, categories so we don't need i think yeah also we have to send um all the category to show them okay so we'll we'll just paste that from you know adding because add and edit form are almost same uh we'll have categories too because we want to change the category also sometime you know in after uh, while we want to edit so let's add that and save it and refresh it and here we got this and this is one if we say two uh, let's say three maybe in four there is furniture no so oh, we haven't done old value so let's show some old value in form okay so inside inside this we'll say uh, value we'll say value is equals to and we'll say we'll have a turner operator old if we have old what like this uh title if, do we have old title what uh, this is old title old old title we'll say m2 let's let's do and i will show you what is that um turner operator here oh title let's let's do this um let's search okay laraville so old old value in edit form We'll, we'll, we're gonna pick a uh, easy one yeah I, I I forgot maybe let's paste that thing here all right um and let's paste it here it says if old title then we'll say dollar product title yeah see tv and if we do one it will say watch and we can edit it and you saw that and we also want this for price let's add this very fast all right and we'll say this price and this product is coming from you know our, our after we have find uh find method in you know your product it will gives uh give us the id which we have selected and we'll also have value for this so we'll have value of old let's say category underscore id uh maybe yeah and it will be uh let's let's do first okay um let's go to four or three i don't know it's not changing old category id we'll do we'll do them later okay for now now uh, we i am just gonna give you you know oh my god all right we're gonna use shift and cut it out all right save this and now we have this form now now we want to save this form data let's go to product controller and we want to make 
let's just add route uh, let's add tail that route as you know route will be put method because updating is put method always and we can also use post method and let's do product slash this also takes uh you know one id so which product you're gonna update you want to update so let's copy it product controller add let's let's tell that update meta all right and we'll give semicolon and in here we'll say public function update and we'll take request and which product and we'll do this um, much similar like this okay um, we'll we'll up, update but this time we'll say not create so, all right guys now we are going to update this from controller uh, we'll say uh variable product and inside this will say find the product and we want to update that okay product um, find our product our dollar product you know from here okay and we'll we'll say uh product product title will be you know uh, from let's take it from uh, this input you know we have requested all from form so we'll say input uh, title also also we'll make dollar product uh, price price to dollar input price so what we have inserted in price we we'll change the value and also dollar product category dollar product category equals to dollar input this is category underscore id and we'll say category underscore id so let's save it uh, oh, oh we haven't saved it so we'll say dollar product after you know in dollar product it is all here in product so we'll say save method and let's save it let's go to the browser let's refresh all right now we have changed laptop one to laptop to laptop one let's let's change the price to Five thousand. Let's change this to furniture and submit it. Yeah, laptop one five thousand furniture. All right. So we have updated our product. Okay. So we can also add the product. Let's see here. Uh, let's say let's say CPU price. Let's say five hundred accessories. Uh, let's say. All right, we are also doing that. So we have done editing uh, update in this video. In next video, we'll do editing of you know updating our categories or maybe a delete of our product first. So let's do that uh, for now. It's a very long video, so I have to go. Thank you. Thank you for watching.